Hello viewers, welcome to JSM. In this lecture, we are going to discuss one important concept for IIT and NEET that is N factor of HNO3 at different concentrations. Okay, so depending upon whether you take concentrated HNO3 or cold dilute HNO3 or dilute HNO3, in different cases or at different concentrations, HNO3 N factor is different. Okay. Uh, many times questions were asked in the different entrance exams related to this application. Let us see. So here first case, if you take concentrated HNO3, so first I will write the ionic equations that how N factor we can calculate in that particular case. After that I will give the specific example. So here NNO3 minus plus 2H plus plus 2 electrons. So here we get NO2 plus H2O. See here in this reaction, see nitrogen oxidation state is here plus 5. So here how much nitrogen oxidation state is plus 4. Okay, nitrogen oxidation state is plus 4. So here what is the change in oxidation state of nitrogen from reactant to product? 1 unit. So here n factor is how much n factor is n factor that is equal to 1. Okay, already we have discussed in many lectures that what is n factor and how to calculate. Okay, so here change in oxidation state per mole. So here plus 5 to plus 4. So change in oxidation state is 1 unit. So n factor is equal to 1 here. Okay, so here this we can write that NO3 minus simply change it to NO2. So no, at this concentration, okay, or if you take concentrated HNO3, NO3 minus gets converted to NO2. Okay, next, if you take dilute HNO3, here we have two cases, okay, with relatively less reactive metals like copper, silver, mercury and lead, it react differently. And with more active metals like zinc, iron, tin, it reacts differently. Okay, let us see in this case how it reacts. So here NO3 minus plus 4H plus plus 3 electrons. So here we get NO plus 2H2O. NO plus 2H2O. So how to calculate here N factor? So what is the N factor here? Here oxidation state of nitrogen is how much plus 5? Here oxidation state of nitrogen is how much plus 2? So what is the change in the oxidation state here? Plus 5 to plus 2. 3 units is the change. So that's why what is the N factor here? N factor is equal to 3. Yes or no? Okay. Why we are taking 3? So change in oxidation state per mole of nitrogen is plus 5 to plus 2, 3 units. So N factor is equal to 3 here. Okay. And overall here we can write NO3 minus is changed to NO. Okay. So if you take concentrated HNO3, NO3 minus 2, NO2. If we take dilute HNO3 with these metals, NO3 minus 2, NO. Okay. Next another case with more active metals like zinc, iron and tin. So here 2NO3 minus plus 10H plus plus 8 electrons. So here we get N2O plus 5H2O. Okay, N2O plus 5H2O. See here plus 5 to. So here oxidation state of nitrogen is plus 1. Okay, so what is the N factor here? So N factor is equal to n factor is equal to see here plus 5 to plus 1 so what is the change in oxidation state per nitrogen atom 4 units so here we have total 2 nitrogen atoms okay 2 into plus 5 10 so here 2 into what 2 10 minus 2 what is the total change in the oxidation state 8 okay total change in the oxidation state for 2 nitrogen atoms is 8 okay 10 units to 2 units, but n factor is per atom, okay, n factor is defined per atom, so here 8 by 2, okay, 
So for two nitrogen atoms, what is the change? Eight units. For one nitrogen atom, eight by two. So that is equal to four. N factor is how much here? Four. Clear? So here you should be very careful. See here, only one nitrogen atom is present. But here we have two nitrogen atoms. So for two nitrogen atoms, so total change in oxidation state is eight. Per nitrogen atom, how much? Four units. Okay. Or directly from here also we can say plus five to plus one. Okay. So four units is the change that is the n factor here. Okay. So overall, how can we write this one? NO three minus two N two O. Okay. NO three minus two N two O. Clear? So like this, at concentrated HNO three. N factor is one. Dilute HNO three with those metals. N factor is three. Okay. With zinc, iron, tin, here N factor is equal to four. Now let us see cold and dilute HNO three. So here NO three minus plus seven H plus plus six electron. So here we get NH two OH plus two H two O. NH two OH plus two H two O. See here how oxidation state is changing plus five to minus one. So here oxidation state of nitrogen is how much minus one. So what is the total change in the oxidation state plus five to minus one? Six units is the change in oxidation state. So n factor is equal to how much here? Six. N factor is equal to six. Why? Plus five to minus one. Six units is the change in oxidation state. So here, what is the change we observed? NO three minus two NH two OH. Okay. So here NO three minus two NO two NO three minus two NO NO three minus two N two O. So here NO three minus two NH two OH. Okay. Next last case here very dilute HNO three. So here NO three minus plus 10 H plus plus 8 electron. So here we get NH4 plus ammonium ion plus 3 H2O. Okay. So here what is the change in oxidation state? So plus 5 to minus 3. Okay. Plus 5 to minus 3. So total change in oxidation state is how much? 8 units, right? So that's why n factor is how much here? N factor. In this case, is equal to eight. Okay, n factor is eight. So, what is the change we observed here? Is that NO three minus two NH four plus. Okay, so here like this HNO three n factor is different at different concentration. So here n factor is one if you take concentrated HNO three dilute HNO three with these metals n factor is three. With active metals like zinc, iron, tin, n factor is four. Cold and dilute HNO three, n factor is six. Very dilute HNO three. If you take n factor is equal to eight. Okay, let us see some specific examples for this each and every case. Let us see the examples for each and every case. So concentrated HNO three, copper gets oxidized to Cu two plus, and NO three minus change to NO two. See here, whatever the metal it is present that gets oxidized by the HNO3 because HNO3 is one of the best oxidizing agents. Okay, so here, <coughs> what is the change we have to observe? NO3 minus change to NO2. Okay, see this change is common whatever the metal we have for concentrated HNO3. Next, dilute HNO3 with these metals. So again, if you take the copper as example, copper gets oxidized to Cu2 plus and NO3 minus change to NO. Okay. So here with zinc, in this case, zinc gets oxidized to zinc plus two and NO3 minus two N2O. Okay. So whatever the metal, this change is common. Remember that. Next, cold and dilute HNO3. Zinc to zinc plus two and NO3 minus two NH2OH. Okay, next very dilute HNO3. Iron gets oxidized to iron two plus and NO3 minus two NH4 plus. Okay, clear. So these are the just examples with a particular metal. Okay, this reaction is common. Remember that we have to remember this common case only. Okay, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to support us.